you want to buy AirPods Pro 2, then this video is very important for you to watch. This AirPods Pro 2 is compared to the best AirPods on the market. All its features are shown step by step. It also mentions the changes in its design. Battery life is described in detail. So let's start one by one. AirPods Pro 2 Features The improvements to the AirPods Pro 2's core feature set impress the most, giving the premium buds their edge. Active noise cancelling features of the AirPods Pro were solid but couldn't match what was offered by Sony and Bose. With the AirPods Pro 2, however, there is a significant improvement to the amount of external audio blocked by the earbuds, letting you enjoy your tunes, audiobooks, or podcasts without external interruptions. Apple claims that the noise cancelling is twice as effective as the previous model. That's a tough metric to verify, but anecdotally that feels reasonable. As my Apple Watch explainer detailed, my commute to the office is very noisy, but the noise cancelling feature here eliminates the screaming of the tube carriage almost entirely once the music is playing. It extends to call quality too. The mics on board here are sensitive and responsive, and pals taking incoming calls from the AirPods Pro 2 told me that audio was clear and removed from much of the external, ambient sound that could feasibly have been picked up. Transparency mode is the exact opposite of the noise cancelling mode, using the onboard microphones to amplify external sounds pumped into your ears so that you can hear them clearly without taking the buds out. It's a mode present on the original Pros, but it works slightly differently. Transparency mode is now adaptive, meaning that it'll dial down the volume should you encounter a sudden spike in external sound to avoid deafening you, say, the unexpected siren from an oncoming ambulance. It's a great idea in theory, but I'd argue it's not adaptive enough. It's capable of spotting and protecting against super loud sounds like traffic and construction work, but it isn't as capable of filtering out comparatively loud indoor sounds, for instance, the noise from a vacuum cleaner. It's a far more convincing and encompassing effect with the AirPods Pro 2, thanks to a new setup process that lets you use your iPhone's camera to personalize the audio based on your unique ear shape. It's worth a little more discussion of the Find My feature. 2. That U1 chip is the same you'll find in Apple's AirTags, and you can use the same Find My app to track down a lost AirPods Pro 2 case. As well as the audio cues coming from the case, you'll be able to follow an on-screen interface on the iPhone that points you in the right direction of the unit. AirPods are linked to your Apple ID account now too, which adds to your Bud's security, making them a little less attractive to would-be thieves. Provided you're in Bluetooth range, you'll be able to track down the individual buds if misplaced, too. AirPods Pro 2, Battery Life. It's an across-the-board improvement on battery life on AirPods Pro 2, offering 6 hours per charge from the buds, with noise-canceling switched on and 30 hours of battery life stored in the case, good for 5 recharges according to Apple. That's a fair estimation from our experience, but remember that using certain features and pumping up the volume can affect battery life. For instance, if you're always using spatial audio, you can knock roughly an hour off the buds between charges. But should you run the AirPods Pro 2 buds dry, popping them in the case for just 5 minutes will get you about an hour's worth of playback. Compared to the competition, battery life here is strong but not quite class leading. Cambridge Audio's Melomania OnePlus squeezes 9 hours out of its buds and pops an additional 36 hours into its case, for instance. More annoying is the decision to stick with a lightning port for charging. Though, with several Apple products, from MacBooks to iPads, now moving to the USB-C standard, the AirPods Pro 2 frustratingly gives you another reason to hold onto that proprietary cable a bit longer. Fortunately, it also supports wireless charging, so if you have a universal wireless charger, you'll be able to use the Pro 2 case with it. AirPods Pro 2 Design You'll have to do a double take to spot the differences between the AirPods Pro 2 and the original AirPods Pro. A few minor changes aside, they're incredibly similar in design, at least externally. A definite improvement, however, is a new skin detection sensor, replacing the proximity sensor of the last generation buds. These are used to make sure the AirPods Pro 2 buds know they are in your ears, pausing music when a bud is taken out for instance, and making sure they're accurately in place before activating noise-canceling functions. On the original AirPods Pro, I found the proximity sensor to be erratic when deciding whether the buds were in my ears correctly, making activating the noise-canceling options finicky. But that problem has been cleared up entirely by the more accurate skin sensor. You'll also find that the acoustic vent 
used by the noise cancellation system to monitor incoming sounds, is now moved to a more prominent outward position for better capturing ambient audio. For the most part, the comfort levels of the AirPods Pro 2 are in line with that of the original AirPods Pro. With larger, heavier buds than the standard AirPods, they're a tighter fit for smaller ears, but the stem-based design is still preferable compared to, say, the bud-only design of Sony's leading WF-1000 XM4. They balance well in the ear and can be used for long stretches without causing fatigue. Apple makes a concession to those with smaller ears among us this year with the inclusion of a new XS ear tip option in the box. You're looking at 5.4 grams of weight per bud. Internal changes may not be visible but are arguably just as important. The earbuds now use Apple's H2 chip, which offers improved efficiency for the battery and can compute much faster thanks to double the transistor count over H1. This leads to improvements in noise cancellation abilities and an overall more consistent audio experience. Rounding off the cast of additions is a lanyard loop hoop, letting you attach the case to a quarter bag. AirPods Pro 2, audio performance. I've found them particularly good for watching movies with, too. The spatial audio effect does put you in the middle of the action. Though it's not quite a match yet for dedicated, discrete surround sound speakers. The feature on AirPods Pro 2 has allowed me to satisfyingly enjoy some late-night blockbuster movie sessions without waking the neighbors. Those hoping to see the AirPods Pro 2 make the jump to lossless or high-resolution audio will have to wait a little longer. You're stuck with the AAC codec and Bluetooth 5.3 here, which means Apple's top-of-the-line earbuds still can't take full advantage of Apple Music's Apple Lossless Audio Codec or ALAC for that richest of playback detail. That likely won't bother Apple's more casual target audience, but it's one of those rare moments for the company when all the dots don't join up. Playback remains detailed and enjoyable regardless, but it's frustrating that the holy grail of wireless audio remains out of reach for the time being. Still, it's a good opportunity to delve into your past and present Apple Music replay mixes. AirPods Pro 2 Competition Apple's AirPods Pro 2 ride high in the pack of the best true wireless earbuds, but it's a product category with stiff competition and loads of choice across price brackets. For my money, the Sony WF-1000 XM4 in-ears remain the best on the market. Apple's AirPods Pro 2 have them trumped when it comes to comfort, but there's a greater sense of musicality to Sony's buds, with equally good if not better active noise cancellation, too. Sony's buds also offer a range of smart features, from location and activity awareness to a speak-to-chat option, that pauses music once it recognizes you're having a conversation. They can be picked up at an RRP of $280 per £250, but can be found much cheaper now that they've been on sale a while. But really, if you're buying AirPods of any description, that's likely because you're after the slick integration with the wider Apple product world. As such, for those that can't stump up the change for the AirPods Pro 2, the third-generation AirPods are a great alternative, with similarly solid audio performance, sans the noise-canceling smarts, for $179 per £169. AirPods Pro 2, Price and Availability Revealed alongside the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro, AirPods Pro 2 are available now, and will cost you $249 USA, and £249 in the UK. In the USA, that's admirably the same price as the 2019 original AirPods Pro, and a small increase of £10 in the UK. The AirPods Pro 2 remain on the more expensive side of the true wireless earbud market, but maintaining near-identical pricing for these improved successor models, during a challenging economic climate is as surprising as it is appreciated. Thank you for watching the video.